the VMAX has been around a while, either under Yamaha directly, or under Yamaha's made in the U.S. Cruiser line, star motorcycles, much like the GSXR family from Suzuki. The VMAX holds a special place in my heart as the second bike to scare the crap out of me, and the first bike engine I grew to hate. Just to clarify, I didn't hate it cause it's a bad engine, I hated it cause at MMI it was our timing exercise model, and you had to turn it over 32 times to get everything aligned properly. That said, had I not been recently snake bit by my gigs trip, I probably would have killed myself on a friend's VMAX, but even riding cautiously it almost got away from me. The 2017 VMAX looks like one Nikon that didn't fall far from the tree. So let's take a look at what the tuning fork company has in store for us this year. Now for the beating part, the liquid cooled 102 cubic inch, 1, 679 cc, power plant, truly a chunk of engine. It comes in a V4 configuration that fills the wide frame completely, and it's anything but a boat anchor. The official word from the factory is 123 pound feet of torque at 6, 500 revolutions per minute, some 10 pounds greater than the daddy of this engine family that came out in 09. I have no official word on horsepower yet, but if I had to guess, I would say it's somewhere around the same 175 pony mark as the 09, or at least in the neighborhood thereof. You can ride off on a VMAX.